Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Do While Loop. And in this lecture, we're going to wrap up our section on loops and continue from where we left off in our previous lecture, which was the for each loop. So hang in there and let's learn a little bit about the Do While Loop. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 22 Do While Loop. In your code editor, make sure to open the final and practice.php files in the Do While Loop folder. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, practice.php is the sandbox which we're going to be using to build what is in final.php. Final.php, it looks like this. Final example, Do While Loop. So we have the number 1 through 10. And we're using the do while loop to achieve this result. Why don't we learn a little bit about the do while loop before we jump into our code editor? All right. The do while loop is a bit like the while loop, but there's one major difference. The while loop will only start if the condition is true, whereas the do while loop will always execute the first time and then evaluate whether the condition is true afterwards. Here's what the syntax looks like do execute some code, and then after the second or the closing curly bracket, while, and then in parentheses, a condition to be met, end with a semicolon. So let's look at a real example. So let's set a variable. We're going to say i is equal to 1. Do echo the number and then the variable i with a break tag afterwards to separate the loop on a new line every time and then increment the i variable by one every time you loop. Then evaluate this condition, repeat the loop if true. While i is less than, less than or equal to 10. So if coded correctly, this should echo the numbers one to 10 on your screen. So let's check it out. There it is, 1 through 10. So why don't we jump into the code editor to see what this is actually like hands-on. All right, so in our practice.php file, we have our constants and custom variables that have been auto-populated for you. Make sure to change the my name variable to your name. And now let's jump into the sandbox. Start off by adding a variable called i and give it the value of the integer 1. After that, let's code our do while loop skeleton. So do, opening and closing curly brackets, and then while, and then we'll have our condition to be met in here, semicolon. You can also space this out like this if you like, but I think it looks a little better like this. Okay, in the opening closing curly brackets, let's echo some text, number, and then the variable, i, and then an HTML break tag to separate each on a new line. This should be number, not numer. And then after that, we need to increment the i variable by one every time. While i is less than or equal to 10. So what this is saying is the first time this loop is uh, introduced to us, echo the number, the first number, and then increment uh, the variable by one. And then while i is less than or equal to 10, keep on looping. So the first one gets executed, and then on the second time through, we check through the while part of this do while loop to see if the condition is true. If so, keep looping. If not, stop. Let's check it out in our practice.php. There it is, number 1 through 10 using the do while loop. That was a short but sweet little lecture, but hopefully that was useful to you, and I will see you in the next lecture.